It's been another seasonably warm day across our mountains. Temperatures 5 to even 10 degrees above normal in several spots. Today out of Beckley, we were about 6 degrees above normal. Average high is 75 degrees. 81 was the high today. Our morning low was a little bit above average as well. Those have been averaging fairly mild at night as well. And the current temps out there are still very mild at the 6 o'clock hour. Upper 70s, low 80s across the area. We haven't budged really at all. Still 79 in Lewisburg, 81 in Union, and we're at 82 degrees over here in Oak Hill. Tonight, temps are going to drop down, but they're going to be above average. Again, that average low this time of year is 56 degrees out of Beckley, but we're going to be in the 60s across the area. A little bit cooler through the Greenbrier Valley as well as through the higher elevations. A little bit warmer through the western counties. Some clouds out there, some patchy fog. It'll, we'll have a lot of moisture out there causing that fog, but we won't necessarily have any rain tonight that'll be coming tomorrow those rain chances now we will have some we have uh we will have more clouds out there tomorrow more than we're seeing on the radar out there right now there's really nothing to be concerned about thanks to all of that dry air in the atmosphere but again that's changing we will see a return of those rain chances we had quite a bit of dry weather uh, but we won't necessarily be seeing anything in terms of any widespread soaking rain we do have some rain chances in that scattered category for wednesday but again i don't think everyone's going to see uh, any widespread rain and a lot of it's going to be fairly quick moving. Those rain chances pretty much died down for the second half of the week, Thursday and Friday, before they do come back again, heading into portions of the weekend, still overall fairly low. We're not getting into that widespread category over the next several days. We do have a minor severe threat tomorrow. It's a level one threat for most of the area. I think where we see most of the severe threat is out to the west, western counties and west of us out towards the metro Metro Valley and the tri-state area, but we're probably not going to see all that much in terms of widespread severe weather. It's a couple isolated storms that we will see, and then that severe threat will drop off as we do head into our Thursday. So let's time it on out. As we go into tonight, Futurecast tries to bring up some sprinkles due to all of that moisture that's in the atmosphere, making us feel humid, but it's not looking like we really have that much forcing for it tonight. We stay mostly dry, and then tomorrow as we head late in the afternoon into the evening, it gets a little messy. So around that dinner time time frame, those brighter colors signaling some of that heavier stuff, which could be some severe weather across the area. Again, I think it's concentrated in the western county, so Raleigh up through Nicholas along the 19 corridor. But we do continue to see those storms move on east through the night. They're out by midnight, and then on Thursday, we have another system that's trying to enhance uh, some shower coverage across portions of the area. I think it's going to be pretty spotty as we head into Thursday. We'll have some sun. It's still going to feel humid uh, as we head into the second half of the week so that's not going to be going away but most of us will be staying dry and over the next five days we're not expecting widespread rainfall we're in the green for most of the area and that is less than a half an inch of rain i think most of most of the heaviest rainfall is going to fall from any thunderstorms tomorrow through the Nicholas and what looks like the western Fayette County area. So that's where we're seeing most of any heavy rainfall, but I don't think much more than a half an inch uh, for portions of the area as we go over the next five to seven days. We're just not looking at any widespread rainfall. Very summery pattern of hit or miss storms over the next seven. We'll continue with those warm days, temps a little bit above the average in the upper 70s to 80s, even heading into the weekend. Samantha.